My name is Lucas Katenda. I was born in what is known today, Oceania region. I did my nursing and medical training at the University of Namibia. And I went then to work at the uh, Anglican Mission at Odibo, St. Mary's Mission at Odibo. I worked in the hospital there, the health center, for three years. Before then, I went to the States and studied theology there to come and work in the head office of the Anglican Church, the work I'm doing right now. Manhood, in my view, is a composition of two traits, of being tough and tender at the same time. Men of higher goals, confident, builder of the society, somebody who can set goals for himself and is able to achieve those goals, mostly the ability to appreciate the weaker people and somebody who is able to adore womanhood so that you, you are able to relate to people in a way that you are a human being. Not so harsh, not so critical, not so rough, but to be human. Men, by very nature, they are strong. That's why they are the ones who are killing women. It's that ability. Eh? the physical ability to overpower the woman. But how about thinking about that in this direction? To say, I am strong, but let me use my strength then to do the following, to guide, to protect, to care for the society. And when we say the society, we mean your wife, if you are married, your children. Many men have no ability to do those things. What they do is to, to go along with whatever is coming. If people are drinking, they are also drinking. People are killing their boy, um, girlfriends and wives, they are also following. See, But a true man cannot do that. How can you, you just knock off at work, you have children at home, and off to Evelyn Street and you are drinking? How can you spend the whole weekend under the influence of alcohol? As if you have no idea that alcohol has the capacity to damage your brain and your thinking capability. From health point of view, alcohol can damage some cells on your brain. That's why those people who are committing those crimes are either under alcohol or under influence of drugs. Because you are no longer thinking as human being, you are thinking as a monster, as a lion, for instance, looking for, uh, for survival. It is 12 o'clock. Where are you? No, I am at a barbie. Tell her just that. What are you doing? And with whom are you there? It is 12. That question is a security question. It is not a question to look you down. As soon as a woman is loved, cared for. Forget about a woman making nonsense against you. Are you intending to continue with your marriage? Yes, I love my wife. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and what do you think alcohol can do to your marriage? Is it really helping your marriage to grow or is it helping your marriage to go down? One of the principles I have is to empower myself to empower others. That is why I spend most of my afternoons, the evenings, with people experiencing difficulties in life. Let's go. Let's go.